Hello all, welcome to the video in which we are discussing a C++ application to manage the blood bank management system. The requirement to build this application are as follows. It requires knowledge of C++ programming, some object oriented programming concepts and a visual studio code. As you can see on the screen that this is an interactive AI based code editor in which, which helps us to code in an interactive way and which auto completes your code according to the suggestions. So let's deep dive in the domain of C++ and let us build this application of blood bank management system. Initially, we have declared all the necessary libraries that are needed for uh, that is needed to build this application. Secondly, we have declared all the first class as class hospitals. In this entire code, we have uh, we have generated some new classes, uh, class donor, class hospital, in which each and every class has its own functionalities and implementations to reach the specific objective and each class is responsible to perform different functionalities. So as you can see in the first class we have declared is class hospital which contains the information to declare hospital and which, which contains the hospital data for the user. So we have added a public access modifier out here so that the variables can also be accessed outside the class. We have created the functions in which uh, hospital registration and payment check in which this particular function will register a, a user in the hospital and this particular payment check function will check that the whether the payment is successfully uh, uh, the transaction has been made or not. So uh, according to each and everything we have C out of transaction complete and C out of transaction incomplete. If the payment has been made then the transaction will complete. If the payment has not been not been made the transaction remains incomplete. So accordingly the output message will be display on the screen. Uh, so, uh, secondly, we have uh, generated a, created a class donor in which this particular class contains all the information and contacts details regarding the donor of the blood. Uh, donor of the blood who is the person basically this uh, function uh, uh, keeps up the, the data of a person who is willing to give his or her blood to the blood bank management system to the blood bank basically so that uh, people can use it accordingly. In this particular class, we have uh, it contains the data of a donor. So we have the all the contact details of a donor, name, contact number, fitness state, etc. So after that, through str cmp function, that is string compare functions in C++, we have compared the string of blood groups and the string entered by the user or the blood group of the donor. So as we can know that, as we can, as we know that blood groups have different different categories which involves AB positive. A B negative. So the blood group entered by the user, this particular ST, uh, st uh, string compare function helps us to compare the two strings, which let us know that whether the blood group, which is entered by the user and the matches with the blood group that is required uh, to the blood bank. So basically this particular class contains the uh, donor information that uh, which person is going to do donate the blood. The next is we need to, if if we need to update the do, donor uh, contact details or we need to update the owner's data, donor's data, then accordingly this function will call. And we have created different, different functions in different, different classes so that there is each and every functionality, each and every class and functions is responsible to perform different functionalities and, and implementations. So we need to, if we need to update the donor, uh, the data. So we have, we have a, a donate updation function donor updation function actually I have created some variables and uh, functions with the name that is self explanatory. So as you can see that this particular function donates uh, updates the data of a donor. The next class is class blood packet that is what kind of blood packet we, uh, we, uh, blood bank is willing to have which contains three variables that is care t1 that is type care r1 that is a recess and the blood packet is uh, when the blood packing packet is expiring this particular information will be stored in the expiry variable the next this is one of the most important class of our code that is class blood bank as it contains all the information of uh, the classes and function this is most important class so as you can see that this class has been the most uh, comes out to the most important class as it contains almost each and every functionality that we are uh, aiming to achieve. Uh, so basically, it contains username, password, class donor, class hospital, class blood blood packet, 
we have created a, a parameterized constructor out here where we have initialized username as a and password as b authentication as 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 the name suggests this particular function uh, helps us to authenticate the user id that whether the details entered by the user is relevant or not whether the user is legitimate or not so this particular functions help us to check the privacy of our system that only legitimate people have access to the to our uh, blood bank management system then we have a we have a function that generates a dnr number to the user then this particular function checks through switch case that if the blood that is the that a donor is willing to give matches with the requirement of the blood bank basically through switch, uh, switch statement we have created different cases according to that we have checked whether the blood packet is expired or not so each and every case has its own functionalities and logics and check whether the blood packet is expired or not through expiry variable so as you can see that uh, you, uh, using switch case we have generated case a case b case o and case x hence now the function is donate function the next function is donate function according to which initially in the previous function we have uh, seen that each and every blood groups have different categories and uh, if that particular payment is done we'll check through payment method if that particular payment is done then required blood packet is then then the required blood packet is handed to the user that is willing to have that particular blood packet and if it is not done or, or the blood packet is not available then the message is displayed displayed that a required blood packet is not available then we have donate function through which we we generate a dnr number as we have discussed earlier that this particular function uh, uh, accepts the different different uh, cases so this is particular uh, cases of case a case b case x and case o so as you can see that this particular now show function is basically this particular show function helps us to display the information to the output stream of our uh, blood bank management system this particular program this particular show function helps us to generate the output in the output stream as you can see that all the this particular function contains all see out statements so for displaying the information we will call this particular show function then in the main function we have created a, a somewhat of interactive visualization of of word blood bank so as you can see that we have uh, uh, when you will hit a enter button right here run button right here so we uh, we will see a blood bank of this particular in this particular particular format popping up in the output stream and again through switch statement we have uh, uh, created a user uh, based according to user this is a program that user will act user will uh, choose uh, these mapped numbers accordingly and according to the number that user have chosen then the particular uh, function will call and then the particular operations will done for example if we need to add donor we will select one if we need to update donor if we select two accordingly we will select all the operations and through switch statement all these function calls will be created so now as we as we can see that we have called a blood bank with the username and a password of 123 so as i hit the run button out here i need to enter the username of as 123 and password as 123 then we will access the blood bank management system so let's hit the run button and see as you can see that this uh, visualization has been as our blood bank management system is ready it's trying to use it i enter the username as 123 i enter the password as 123 i enter my choice as add donor so i i write my name as sarthar out here i enter my contact number as somewhat like this my i enter my fitness state as 1 i enter my type as o my blood type as o i enter my rhesus as positive so the according to this information a dnr number is generated and if i need to update my information then i will call update donor now the now the program is asking for dnr so we have get this dnr above as one so i'll write as one now the choice is whether i need to update my fitness state or update my contact number so i need to update my fitness state so i will hit one enter enter new fitness state i am not fit now so again the the things are updated now if i need to check whether uh, how many blood packets are available then so i will choose according to six as it is mapped with 
display available blood packet functions. So I will map as six. So these are particular blood bank details, available blood packets, available blood categories, A, pos A positive, A negative, V positive, V negative, O positive, O negative, AB positive, AB negative. So this is basically an entire C++ blood bank management system code. I hope the things are very clear and precise. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel, my project ideas to get some more interesting stuff in technical domains. So thank you so much.